Radio 209. In the 1860s, the historic town of Columbia was alive with the hustle and bustle of the Gold Rush era. And while those people have long since died, legends say their spirits still remain, frequenting the landmarks throughout the state park. This week on Studio 209, we're going to take an up-close look at Columbia's haunted history. You know when you just walk up to a building and you say, this looks haunted? That's the Columbia Schoolhouse for you. Totally not foreboding at all. So the Columbia Schoolhouse was built in 1860 and the first day of school was in 1861. It was closed in about the 1930s because it didn't meet earthquake requirements and so there haven't been students in it for quite a while. But that hasn't stopped locals from hearing students, whether it's footsteps running on the second story or little voices laughing. It looks creepy as all heck in there. When you hear that there haven't been students here for a while and no one's ever died in the building, you might think, then why is it haunted? But then you turn the corner and how nice they put the school right next to the cemetery. Totally not a recipe for disaster. I've done a lot of crazy things for Studio 209, but visiting the cemetery at night might be up there on the list. I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not having fun. Did you hear footsteps? Do you hear those? No, seriously, do you hear those? <laughs> what is that? What was that? Seriously, is there a person over there? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Now, in case you think I'm just a ghost expert with a wealth of knowledge, I'm not. Studio 209 had the help of full spectrum paranormal investigators with gathering all of this data about Columbia's haunted locations. Did terrible things happen at these locations? Sure. Terrible things happened all over town. The Wild West was a rough environment. So the experiences of guests to the park and reports of paranormal activity aren't just tied to buildings like the city hotel. They're tied to the land itself. All right guys, so right now we are in the City Hotel. We're actually heading upstairs to take a look at some of the places where ghosts are said to walk. I've had people say that they've had the best night's sleep they've had in this room. Other people say like, oh my God, I couldn't get any sleep. I've actually had someone change rooms because they were so scared. Wow. Legend has it that this bed frame in room one at the City Hotel is haunted. A woman gave birth, she died during childbirth, and this bed frame that she was in was shipped from San Francisco to Columbia, and her spirit followed along. Guests say they've heard her footsteps, they've heard her laughing, they've even heard her baby crying in the middle of the night. This is not as haunted as the Fallon Hotel, which is down the street. That one has way more activity, and if you guys go there, you guys will see stuff. Angela owns the Mercantile, a kitty corner from us over here, and she was taking a picture of her friend coming down the stairs, and when she came into the saloon here, she was like flipped out, hair standing up, and she's like, Denise, look at what I just saw. And it was a woman coming down the stairs, and her dress is floating above the banister, and it's a very like eerie white color. And then the rumor has it that she fell down those stairs, broke her neck, and left her son behind. And her son is like under a table next to the stairs with that same white X-ray looking presence. Yeah, translucent. You know that photo we showed you was actually taken right behind me, right in the lobby of the Fallon Hotel, and it's said to be that woman whose body was found, and she could even be watching us right now. Happy Halloween indeed, it's a happy one for me because I wasn't murdered by ghosts. I had a blast checking out all those haunted locations though, even if it was a little scary. We have to give a huge shout out to Full Spectrum Paranormal Investigators. They gave us all the info we needed for this episode and they do their own paranormal tours of Columbia twice a year. So if that's something that interests you, go check them out on Facebook. Now let's take a look at a word from our sponsors, Santa HQ presented by HGTV at Vintage Fair Mall.
Again, guys, everyone at Studio 209 wants to wish you a happy Halloween. If you know what I am, leave a comment below. And if you win, kudos to you because we have nothing to give you. But if you want to check out other episodes of Studio 209, head over to Studio209.tv and subscribe to our dedicated YouTube channel. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at 209 Magazine. So for all of us here at Studio 209, I'm Angelina Martin. We'll see you next week. Happy Halloween!